Hello, friends and family of YouTube. I know people are saying it's hard to find some inventory on some campers these days, but I have found plenty of campers in the Huntsville, Alabama area. Today I am over at McElroy Wholesale RV, and uh, I'll show you the phone number of them, but man, there's, there's plenty of campers to choose from here. I'll show you a couple other places as well here in the North Alabama area. And the one thing that I do like about McElroy is their pricing. So every place has something that they're well known for. McElroy, in my opinion, is one of the better ones for pricing. And they are located at what used to be the Reed Camper uh, lot in Huntsville, Alabama. And here's the phone number to McElroy if you want to give them a call and see what they currently have in stock. I believe the young gentleman that I spoke to with there, I believe his name was Kyle. Very friendly staff that they have at McElroy. Okay, now I have got over to Bankston. They are also located in Huntsville, Alabama, but they have about, I don't remember if it's five or six dealerships here in the North Alabama area, but they've got quite a few. Now here at this particular lot, they've got probably at least a hundred campers, pull behinds, class C, and all, all the stuff you could possibly need to choose from. So here in the uh, North Alabama area, man, I'm telling you what, there's plenty of campers here. There's plenty of competition, so your pricing can still be good. Um, the thing that I would say Bankston is kind of well known for is the fact that they do have a large selection because they do have so many dealerships here in this area. So um, anyway, I've got one more place I want to go by and see what kind of inventory they got, but uh, just wanted to let you know what's available around here. I know a lot of you's been been really hurting trying to find some uh, some campers, but man, there's plenty here. So you can always pick up the phone and find out if it's worth traveling here for. Or you can go online uh, and see what uh, see what they've got as well. So anyway, I'm going to leave Bankston and see what I can find down the road. And Bankston's website is bankstonmotorhomes.com. You can check uh, their inventory there and you can see above how many locations they have in the uh, North Alabama area, and they also have an extension over in Nashville, Tennessee. So plenty of options to uh, check their inventory with and phone numbers and website. Well, as I said, there's plenty to choose from here in North Alabama, and now I am at Campers Inn. What's cool about this place is they have 30 Campers Inn scattered across America, uh, mostly on the east uh, east side of the U.S. in the uh, central time zone and the eastern time zone. But here at this particular location, you can see how many campers are behind me, and they are about five rows deep, and they have 16 service bays here as well. So not only do they have selection, but they have service. They have them scattered throughout the U.S. so that if you were traveling anywhere along the eastern side of the U.S., you're gonna definitely be able to get some help with your camper, any problems you might have. Again, I don't work for the company that makes these or sells these. As you can tell, I've done been to three dealerships already in this video showing you uh, what, I'm, what I'm seeing. They've got a little bit of everything here. They got some Winnebago, they got a uh, Grand Design, got a little bit of everything. Pull behinds, uh, Class A, C, Hey, kidding you, they got it all. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I'm gonna get out here behind me and do some, uh, get some separated footage. It'll be uh, like I may pick out some of these hideouts back here. I've not got any videos of those. So uh, y'all stay tuned to my channel. If you hadn't hit the like and subscribe and all that great stuff yet, go ahead and hit it. And that way you can, uh, when I do the videos of these and put those out, you'll be able to see those as well. So let me get out here and look around, see what we got. Just to give you an idea of what kind of variety they got going on here, this is a hideout 17.5 LHS. And you can see this is just a smaller basic unit. And it's got the window unit in the wall as opposed to a standard air conditioning system. 
so uh and that's a bathroom behind there small little camper right at uh 16,000 is what it's showing uh on this uh sticker price here and that is uh msrp anyway i wanted to show you this so that i could show you something else they have so again they have plenty of variety here you can see all i'm doing is walking about 40 feet away from the other unit i just showed you this one's got two slides on it three slides <laughs> my bad <laughs> so anyway it's uh pretty huge we're gonna take a quick jump inside this thing this is a hideout by keystone it's a 38 f q t s all right so we just walked in the door of course looking towards the back of the camper got you full size looks like a uh it looks like a standard refrigerator freezer combo like you'd see in a residential setting and this is a two-door model so it does have a door to exit right there you can go out that door head straight outside got an air conditioner here in the bedroom it looks to be like a queen size all right now we're facing towards the front and I would assume they would refer to this as a park model. I love the fact that it's got a sliding glass door. So it's a two bathroom and two bedroom unit. There's no lighting in here for me to turn on. So I'm not going to be able to get the greatest of footage of it. But I just wanted to do a quick run by and show you what's going on here. Again, this looks like another queen size bed. What a full master. This one does not have a uh, air conditioning in it like the other bedroom did. So I guess this would not be considered a master bedroom. But uh, anyway, just wanted to give you a quick show of this particular unit. And I want to show you the outside of these two particular uh, little Winnebago's. I'm going to do some separated videos on these and they will be on my channel coming up soon. This is a 2100 BH. And then uh, look at this one here. I don't, I don't know what good this roll bar is on here, but it's still pretty cool looking. So this one is a H172BH, and uh, man, yeah, it's a sporty design. So I'm gonna do a video on this one as well. So uh, look for those coming up soon on my channel. Now I tell you what, I found an Imagine XLS17MKE pretty cool little unit now it's a three-step entry now, I want to show you this because the slide is in the inward position okay now look how much room you have to move around in here I know there's a lot of people showing you these videos of these 17 MKE but nobody's showing you what it's like with the slide closed so look how much room you still have in here, even with the slide, not outward. How about that? Only on Dave's RV channel are you going to see this. Well, I've made it back home now, and I'm going to tell you there's plenty of campers in my area. And there's another place that I wanted to go to called Rocket RV, which is uh, just between... Decatur, Alabama and Huntsville, Alabama. And um, I did not get to go see what kind of inventory they have, but normally they are an Airstream and Jayco dealership. So uh, maybe you can go online, check on their uh, website and see what kind of inventory they uh, currently have. But yeah, if you've been having a hard time finding a camper, uh, you, you just hadn't been in the right places. You know, if you're, uh, if you're in a city that just has maybe one or two dealerships, uh, that's probably the case that you are having a shortage, but when you're in a city the size of Huntsville, which is not a huge city, but we have way more dealerships than we probably need, just to be completely honest about it. So, uh, man, there's no shortage of campers here. So, uh, yeah. If, uh, if this is the first time you've watched my channel, I've talked about it before in many videos. I said, hey, if you're not willing to drive 
300, 600, or 1,000 miles to get a good deal on a camper, what's the point in buying a camper? Um, obviously, the whole reason to buy a camper is to get out and travel. So uh, I'm sure you can find a good deal here in uh, the Huntsville, Alabama area. Um, and it's a beautiful place too. I mean, there's a lot to see and do around here. So uh, make make a little journey out of it. Do your research, go online, find out what uh, what they have in stock. You know, they may not be the particular model you're hunting for, but I mean, the, the reality is you can find a, uh, a particular layout and every company just about out there is gonna have a camper that shares that same layout. So uh, if it's the layout that you're interested in, finding that layout is not going to be a problem. Well, folks, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me. And I've got probably 250, 300 videos out there. So, uh, hey, y'all uh, spend some time watching the rest of my videos. And uh, hopefully uh, I've got a review to help you find the camper that you're hunting for. So thanks again. Y'all have a great day. Hope to see y'all again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.